Hey guys, it's Miss Stephanie. I'm one of the seventh grade teachers um, for girls, and I'm going to be bringing your little intro to your lesson this week. So, I, and I'm coming from my front porch. Sorry, it's not more exciting, but I wanted to kind of start off with all the craziness that's going on right now um, with your school year, because I know that that is causing lots of anxiety for many of you. Um, those of you that are homeschooling or in private school, you're probably sitting back, you've been in class for a few weeks now, things are going normal, and this is the time where you get to smile and say, looks good to me. But the rest of you who are anxiously awaiting the first day of school next week, whether it be Tuesday or Wednesday, um, might be fear feeling a little more fearful, maybe a little more anxious than normal. Maybe you are just kind of concerned because I know, you know, I'm recording this after 1.30 p.m. on Friday. Um, I know I'm a little bit late with getting that to David, but things are going haywire. Schedules still aren't out for secondary. Parents are frustrated. Kids are frustrated. Schools, I can promise you, are frustrated as well. So I want you to keep in mind that you're not in this alone. Um, as an educator, as a teacher, as a counselor currently, we all feel your pain too. And so know that everyone is kind of in this together at this point in time. But it kind of leads a good segue into this week's lesson. So this week's lesson is all about trusting in the Lord and knowing that He is there for you and that He will support you no matter how scared, how afraid, or how fearful you are. Um, once again, we're in Judges. And we're in chapter six. And once again, the Israelites have strayed and the Israelites have created idols to Baal, um, a fake God. And they are basically being controlled by the Midianites. And the Midianites have been ruling over top of them for over seven years. And in this time, the Israelites have become very, very afraid. And they're afraid, so afraid that they're living in caves and hiding from the Midianites. And one of the reasons is, is because the Midianites, anytime the Israelites grow crops or start to harvest, the Midianites come in and they destroy those crops and they tear up the harvest. And so therefore they're starving. So they are definitely in a situation of fear. And Gideon, the um, person that we're gonna be talking about this week, is no different. He is just as fearful. He is actually hiding out underground in a wine cellar when he's thrashing his wheat. So when he's harvesting the wheat that normally is done in a big open field so that the wind can help you, he's doing it underground because he's hiding from the Midianites. And during this time, an angel of the Lord is sent to him to talk to him and basically say, this is what God wants you to do. And God will need you to step up and destroy these idols to Baal and lead the Israelites to defeat the Midianites. Now, obviously this causes some fear in Gideon. Um, and it forces him to even kind of question God and to challenge God and to put him up to some like test and task. Like if you do this, then I'll know that you really want me to, to do what you're asking me to do. I feel like we all do that at times and we all kind of say, you know, if this is the path I'm supposed to go on God, then give me a sign, you know, have this happen. But through it all, Gideon does kind of test God and God comes through as we expect him to. But in the end, the biggest lesson for this whole thing is to keep in mind that God is with you and God is with you always and that you can always trust in him and you can always go to him when you're fearful and that he does not want you to be fearful and not able to trust in him. So in this time of confusion and anxiety that we're all going through right now with the start of the new school year, Take a moment and just take a deep breath. Realize that you are not in this alone and that even the adults are anxious and scared and worried just like you are. And some of you may not be as worried and that's awesome. So be there to support those of your friends that are concerned and anxious and worried and know that God is there for you and that through it all, he's in control and he knows exactly how this is gonna all turn out. And because it's in his hands, we need to be faithful and know that it will turn out for good. So I wish you all the best of luck this week, as well as have patience with each other, have patience with your teachers. Hopefully your teachers will have patience with you. And I pray that everything goes well. Know that all your leaders are praying for you each and every day. See you soon.